If you have this, you can have everything. You have a shop, you have an office, everything you need. You have millions, billions. But you have to take good care of the Ngoni, respect it a lot and really like it. It is not about keeping traditional music free of modern influences or vice versa. Baseku's music goes beyond these categories. I was just thrilled. When you are in Mali, this type of music is everywhere. I had heard some solos on previous releases of other artists, then I saw him live and I immediately felt that he's just an amazing musician. I was born in Garana, then I went to Segu, then I traveled to Burkina Faso and Ivory Coast with my mother. At that time my father was a very well-known Ngoni player, but he couldn't go on tour because he was ill, so I had to go with my mother. We went to Burkina Faso together, then to Ivory Coast. After that I moved to Segu. Then in 1984 I went to Bamako to live and work there. First we are going to Barauli. Then we pass Boaje. After Boaje we arrive in Garana. That's the village where I was born. I go to, to visit my family who lives there. Until colonial rule, which was at the end of the 19th century, so a hundred years ago, before then, the griots were the advisors to the kings. They told the kings which battles to fight or which battles not to fight. They would make peace between warring chiefs or, or, or kings. So, and nowadays they play at all these life cycle ceremonies, like when people get married, um, they play music, they play music when the children are given a name, circumcision, excision for girls. These are all things that are accompanied by the music of the griots, not just the music, they're there to advise, they're there to make sure protocol is done properly, 
So they're absolutely fundamental. They're, you know, the word jelly, the word for griot in Malian languages, in Bamana and Mande, um, the word for griot is jelly, which means blood. So it's the, the blood of the, they're the, the arteries, the, they're the life blood that pulses through this society. This is Garana. I was born here. Garana is part of Do. Do is made up of 12 villages that exist since the 13th century. That's a Ngoni. In the 13th century, only the great warriors were allowed to listen to it. The Ngoni is Mali's oldest string instrument. The djinn, the water spirits that live in the Niger, gave the Ngoni to my great grandfather. When I was about 20 years old, I went to Bamako. That was in 84. I met Tumani in 87 and we started working together. I played my first concert in Europe with him at a festival called Dranute. Then I traveled to the USA alone to represent the Ngoni at the Banjo Folk Festival there. The banjo has its origins here. In the US I went to a banjo museum. There I saw that the slaves that were brought from Africa built their instruments just the way we used to build them here. We used to make them with our calabas. The blacks that were brought to the US did the same thing. Later they added a lot of machines to their banjo. We here in Africa didn't change much. We left it like it was. But still it's the same thing. The banjo and the ngoni are the same. <laughs> That's what a banjo sounds like, isn't it? On my trip to the US, I also met Taj Mahal. He was still very young. He had a big limo. 